What's up guys, what's going on? Camp coming at you with a, uh, not, whatever. You guys watched the Jordan 1 review for the Turbo Greens. I said I was going to do uh, the acetoning of the letters. Just posted on Instagram. Here's the finished product. Um, I just happened to breeze through it just to see how it looked. I should have videoed the whole thing, but whatever. Um, I researched a couple videos. Uh, some videos say to use olive oil to get the paint off. I didn't realize that there are actual lettering. Uh, it's glued to the shoe and it's painted. So once I started taking the paint off, it started to basically peel the the layer of lettering off as well. So that was kind of cool. You're gonna need a few things to uh, do this process. First would obviously be the shoe. Next is going to be cotton swabs. Next is going to be some sort of rubber glove. Uh, I have this from doing dye jobs. <laughs> weird way to say that uh, but yes it is a plastic glove so you won't get acetone on your finger because it does eat through stuff and then obviously you're going to need uh, I don't want to turn this upside down because it might be loose but acetone this is just one I grabbed from Blicked Art Studios uh, with some dye today but acetone what I, I think nail polish remover might work but I've never tried that so just go with acetone if you can pick some up uh, it's a rather large quantity I'm not gonna lie to you I'll probably never use this whole thing but it is what it is but uh, let's hop into it I'm gonna grab the other shoe real quick Bang, bang, get this stuff out of the way. Uh, there it is, I'm probably gonna zoom in too. So we put our rubber glove on, or plastic glove, whatever, Schwam, in there. Uh, next, we're going to want to open the acetone. I've already opened it, it's a little uh, troublesome to do that. Uh, it's filled all the way up to the top because it's a brand new bottle, so I'm not going to get too crazy with tipping it over. Typically, I would do something along the lines of just taking it and pouring some into the cap which might go not as planned. That should be more than enough. I'm gonna tap that up there. Put this over here. Grab a few cotton swabs. Super easy, you really don't even need that much. I'm gonna grab one for now, dip it in here, soak up whatever's there. I'm gonna make sure I'm in frame. Move this back out of the way because we don't wanna get the acetone on the rest of the shoe. And then being just be weary of hitting the rest of the shoe. So you just wanna stay in this area and lightly go back and forth. You don't wanna to go too hard or press too hard because you don't wanna do any other damage other than what you're doing here. So every once in a while I'll do a couple strokes so you guys can see. I'll probably end up zooming in a little bit more via the edit of the video so you guys can see what's going on. But let's do a little time lapse to breeze through this till the lettering is done. I'm gonna take a quick stop real quick. As you can see, you're getting a little bit of buildup. Uh, in the corners here, that's the gray paint coming off. So just a heads up on that. I swap them out every couple of seconds. I'll grab a new one. That's why I like the cotton swabs because you can just easily just switch real quick. I'm just gonna dunk it inside of the actual joint. Rinse it out inside the cap, which is here. So just squeeze a little bit, let it drain inside the cap and then go back to it. So I definitely go a little bit more delicately once I get to this end of the shoe because I really don't want to touch the synthetic suede or whatever we want to call that. <laughs> so now that you can see like basically all of the lettering is off, I might have to change the, the shadowing on there, but you can see that it's basically all white. Now there's, there's raised letters here. The detailing isn't too good. If I turn it this way, maybe you can see a little bit better. I don't know if you guys can see it still. So, but like right in here, there's still letters. So as you continue to go with the acetone, the letters start to come off. Now you can help them out probably with like an X-Acto knife or a razor blade. I don't think you need it, but I mean, if you want to, you can. You can actually start to see some of it coming off on here, probably not, but let's grab another fresh one. I'm gonna dunk it in here. Ooh. And we're just gonna go at it again. What I'm gonna do is run my nail across the top of it, just to give you a heads up. So just whatever is on the pinky, just to get some of the layers to start pulling up a little bit, because the cotton swab is super soft, so it's not going to really help out your cause unless you give a little extra push or a little extra pressure. I don't wanna to apply too much pressure though. Like I said before, I don't wanna do any other damage and I don't know what's gonna happen if I do, so. It's really simple, not too difficult. That might've taken 10 minutes at most 
for one shoe, so 20 minutes, you'll be pretty much clear, easy to go. I would definitely consider doing them now while the shoes are fresh, uh, not too dirty. I did wear these already one time, uh, just to give you a heads up on that, but I mean, no, it's not too much. I got a little denim bleeding on the top here, which I'm not happy about, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, if, if I would definitely suggest getting it out of the way now um, before you get any other dirt on the shoe and then you have to contend with that, maybe smudging around the rest of the shoe. Um, so keep them in the box, get the acetone, get it done. It takes about 20 minutes, super simplistic, pretty easy. Uh, I did end up grabbing the toothbrush because I didn't want to keep going back and forth. You do want to be careful while you're doing this process to be very light, one. Um, two, taking breaks to dry off the area so it's not just soaking in acetone the whole time, which is probably why, well, which is why you saw me going and grabbing a dry one, wiping it, and then going back at it again, uh, just to keep the area dry. I don't want to distress or create any kind of uh, chemical reaction within the sneaker. Um, I don't know if there will be. I don't know if that's even a possibility, but just to be on the safe side, I don't want to fuck anything up. Anyway, uh, if you guys got any questions or comments in the comment section, uh, like I said, if I find another shoe that has writing on it and I want to give the olive oil a try, I will. <clears throat> but for this, I'm just going to stick with the acetone. It's two, it's 10 times easier. Like I watched a couple of videos on like olive oil and you like I'll let it soak and then rub and then I don't, know, I, I don't want to take my chance with that. I know this shit is for paint, so it is what it is. All right, guys, if you like the video, shoot a thumbs up. Got any questions or comments, hit the comment section. And as always, I'm out of here. Peace.